Welcome back. Here's the wavy hands. Have you guys ever wondered what these are that come with your canvases? I'm just prepping this canvas that I'm about to use and I thought I'd just show you what you do with them. There's little holes on the inside corners of the canvases. The flat edge sits against one side of the canvas and you hammer them in there to stretch the canvas out. So let me just climb down. This is a big in this canvas. So the flat edge, see it doesn't go this way. The flat edge goes on the long side of the canvas. Now do the bottom one first. There's two holes there. Um, do that one first. I think I can see that one there. So I have to push it in there and then hang on to the canvas and just hammer gently. They move a little bit, but just, just got to be careful with them. Once you get started, that it's, it's much easier. So once, if you see that this crack here is opening up, just stop. And then the next one, it goes in there again against that flat area there. So hang on to the canvas. Now I can see that joint starting to open there, so it's gone in far enough. Okay, dokes. Do this one again. I'm not going to do them all. Well, I will do them all, but I'm not going to do them all now while you're watching because I'm sure we've got better things to do. This is just a little thin canvas. It's easier with the thicker edged canvases. And you just have to be really careful because you don't want to damage the, um, the canvas itself. So again, flat edge there. Give it a bit of a push to get it started. Hang on to the canvas so it doesn't move. And I can see that's opening up there, so stop. Okay, well, I'm going to go and do the others. And then we're going to do a pour. Okay, I'm back. So I've put those pegs in coated my canvas with black and I'm going to do try to do something similar to this tortured soles um, but haven't got any silicone oil in the paints today like I did with these I just didn't like how I got these big big blobby bits I don't mind a few natural cells but I don't want those big blobby bits so going again with same colors um, and my glue and water mix which is that one there, 65% glue, 35% water. And I finished that off. I've just dropped something in there. Oh. A little bit of old glue, I guess, from around that container. Okay, um, so if you didn't see that one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put stripes through the center and stripes on that side. I'm going to pour black in the middle and I'm going to swipe down with a range of different sized palette knives to get these little wispy ghostly effects. Um, I'll show you, oh, I don't know if you can see from up there, but you can see how it kind of disappears into the background and it goes all kind of ghostly and looks like an x-ray or something. So that's the kind of effect I'm looking for. And that's why I thought I'll call it a ghost for because it reminds me of ghostly apparitions. Okay, so I've got metallics. First one is metallic pearl, metallic gold. They're all um, global. This one is a mix of copper and gold, so I'm calling that the rose gold. Um, my normal black that I'm going to use for the background. Um, and then this one is, um, it's pearl with a little bit of burnt umber in it. And I've mixed these paints because they're metallics. I've mixed them one part pouring medium to one part paint. 
When I do swipes with regular paint, I do one and a half times pouring medium to one part paint. But because metallics have to be mixed thicker, um, I've mixed them one to one. And I've saved a little bit of black in my cup for the middle area. Now this is going to be really tricky to do because I need some roller skates on so I can get across to the other side. This is massive. It's 40 centimetres by 120 centimetres. In inches, at 16 inches by 48 inches. So it's a big boy, this one. Righto, let's start. Uh, where's my middle? About there. And about there. Okay, so it's something for me to aim for. So I'm just, just need to put a strip below that area. Whoops. <laughs> oh, it didn't go very straight. It's hard to do, you guys. Okay, another one. Okay, so that's the gold. Leave an area in the middle for the black. You don't need very much paint. I'm trying not to put too much on. It's difficult not to put too much on. I'm going to tip some of that off down that end. And then that's the like a coffee colour, cappuccino y colour. I'm going to do a bit of wriggles with the white cream or pearl because I want lots of that. Okay, so you don't use a lot of paint, I've still got half left. And use it again on another pour. Okay, now the rest of this black I'm going to pour through the center. Like that. Look like a, a dramatic center, black center. So I've got a decent amount of black there. Okay, hopefully that's not too much paint. Now I've got my little paper towel ready to go, folded in half, so that I can easily clean off my little tools. Okay, try and have everything ready and you're going to do this style of pour. I think I'll use, for my little ones, um, I use this little one, but because it's a bigger canvas I think it can warrant bigger swiped areas. So um, I find it easier just to just to go for it quite quickly. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, some of them will go all the way down. Some of them will stop halfway, three quarters. I'm just going to see if I can alternate um, and see what kind of look I can get. Wiping the tool off each time so I don't contaminate the centre. And some areas will go straight down. I want lots of negative space down here, so I don't want to put too much paint down here. I want to end in those little stripies like that, because what happens is these ends, they kind of blend into the background and that's what creates our little ghostly look. This one, I just want to see if I can continue that stripe down rather than on an angle. So just hide that a little bit. So we have got natural cells popping up as you can see. That's okay. So just gently dragging that black over the top of the other paints. And then a long one. So just try to alternate so that they don't look all the same. You know, some long ones, some short ones. 
think that will look more attractive if they're all slightly different. How's it looking? I will come back and fix up any little sections that I'm not happy with. Now that my tool touched the bottom so again just cover it over as if it never happened. Now I need to move things out of the way so that I can move my hand in here. I'm not going to turn it around. Oh my god, how am I going to turn it around you guys? Can someone just jump down and help me please? <laughs> I need a hand. There's no one here to help me. it off with the, the long one there. Woohoo! Okay, well that's looking really pretty, isn't it? Really like that pearl through there. Don't want to lose too much of that. I haven't got very much gold. I'm going to put a little bit of extra gold onto that side. Okay, now before I turn it, I'm just going to have a look and see if there's anything that you don't like. I don't like how you can see the rings there. See, there's the copper, the gold, the, the white. I don't like that. So what I try to do is, and I'll use a little, a little tiny tool for this, just try and break it up like that with the black. Not all of them, they don't all need to be done, but... Some of them do. Um, losing my gold. I want to pop some more gold in there. You can, you know, you can play around with it. If you don't think you've got enough of one colour, by all means, add some. Probably should have zigzagged them because I've got the rose gold all the way through the centre there. The first line's all rose gold. I should have tried to change it up a little bit, I think. Oops, don't like that one. <laughs> Okay, um, how's that looking? Still got a lot of, a little bit too much of the rose gold on the top there for my liking. I don't know why it's so dominant. I'll just break some of it up a bit, have some gold and some rose gold. So just have a little play until you're happy with the outcome. Just gonna put a little bit more gold there. And use my little tool. Just swipe over the top. And then I think I want a little bit of pearl up here. I have to change my bit of paper towel. So yeah, just have a play and 
work out what you want, what you like, what you don't like. Don't have a much, oh I dripped, don't have much pearl here either. Cover that little drip there. Okay, that's better. I just wanted some little streaks of the white coming through. Okay, I think that's, oh, there's a bit too much in the middle there too. Let me see if I can pop a little bit more of the, the pearl there. Oops, that didn't work very well. <laughs> Just swipe the paint right off the canvas onto the floor. Okay. Um, I need a bit more white up in that side there. I want to make sure I've got enough of the white because it, it really looks quite effective and ghostly. Um, so yeah, just want to make sure I've got enough of it. That's better. So I've got some white there, some there. I'll probably still play around with it off camera, um, but for the sake of the video, I'll get going. And you can, as you see, go over what you've already done. There's no harm in that. It, it makes like a more of a 3D effect if you've got areas that are covering other areas, I find. Now, I'll move everything out of the way because I have to try and turn this baby. Oh my gosh. Can one of you just jump down and help me, please? <laughs> Come give me a hand. Oh. Okay. Um, how am I going to do this? Bit by bit, I guess. Swing it around. Very carefully, I have got my little markers on the puppy pedal pad here so I can see where it kind of needs to go to be back into frame for you guys. Um, now, I don't want to add any more paint to the surface. I think I've got plenty of paint. So let's start again this way and come down. Now, I don't want to take too much black, I think. I might just, just touch the black. That way I can keep a little bit more colour, maybe. Whoa, that wasn't very good to go again all the way down. I think with the first one, I think I dragged too much black over, maybe. I'll have to go back and look at my video. Oh, you guys, you forgot to tell me to put my pen pad and my oh, paper towel down. There we go. I'm getting tired. It's, it's been a big day. I've done lots of pause today. Okay. Now what you can do easily on a little canvas does not always work when you go to a bigger surface. It really doesn't. It's quite tricky. And again, just trying to keep that little point as much as possible. So just cover some of that up. My leftover black. Okay. 
So this side's got more gold coming through it, hasn't it? Which is nice. As long as one side's got the gold, I'm happy. I was a bit upset that I'd lost the gold on that side. I'll try and keep it on this side here. Now that's got a bit of a bend in it there, so I'm just going to go again and try and straighten that up a little bit. Being mindful to keep as much black negative space as I can through the centre and down here. I, I don't want to cover everything. I want to try and keep some negative space. Phew! Okay, so you can see these sections here have started ghosting as they've thinned out into the black there. They've started ghosting. They're not as pointy as these ones are that I've just done. These will also start ghosting. But now I just need to play with my little tool and break up these because you can see where the stripes used to be, the gold, the rose gold, the white and the, the cappuccino-ish colour. So for me, I just need to kind of break those up a little bit. Not all of them, but just, you know, some of them. A little bit of white through there. Like so. See these here, they're quite oh, blobby, I guess. Just break those up a little bit. Knowing when to stop is the key. And I'm just going back the opposite way a little bit just to break up those bends. Those little curly bits on the end. You don't have to do it to all of them, but just I think some of them. Just to break up the, the kind of blunt ends, I guess. It just makes it kind of all blend in together a little bit more, doesn't it? So you don't have to do it to all of them. You know, some of them are quite nice having the, the different layers. You can see the different layers in, in there. But just not all. I don't want them all same, all, same, all. They can't all be the same. This little row here is a bit similar. And if you want to incorporate more black over it, you can flick more black over the top on some areas. If you think I'd like a little more black in the center, you can do that. I don't want to do too much, um, too much more, just because I'm going to start muddying the, the colors. At the moment, you know, I can see the white, I can see the gold, I can see other colours, so I don't want to muddy it too much. See a little bit of gold there. Okay, lots of natural cells, hey. 
What do you think? Do you like that one? Have a look at it from both directions. So this one's got more of a silvery grey look to it. And then this one's got more of the gold in it, which is lovely. I was really worried that I wasn't going to have enough of the sort of greyish, whitish look to it. So I think I'll just leave that there and just let the paint do its thing. It's starting to, to bloom. Uh, if there's any areas that need touching up, you can touch them up. You can go around and do your edges, make sure everything's covered. But I think, I think that is good. Do you like that? I'm really surprised how many cells I've got actually. I mean, they're better cells than the previous one because... Um, I think the silicone did make them quite blobby. I mean, this is dry now. It's had a coat of varnish. But, um, yeah, I'm really happy with that, with the ghosting of it. And I think this one will be equally as beautiful once it's dried. I think I'm going to give it to my son, Shane. Um, he's never, he never comments ever on, on my paws, but he actually commented on that little one that I did and he said this would look great in my office and I thought wow he must really actually like it because he's never that was the first time he's ever commented on any of my work so I think I'm going to give it to him so at this stage it's really hard to walk away you know and stop fiddling because every time you look at it, you think, oh, I see something else. But you just leave it. Just try and leave it. I'm going to take my gloves off. I'm going to take it down for a close-up. Um, because you've got, your, you've got your colours. You've got your bands of gold. And you can see the, the, um, you know, the different colours in there. I've just walked around and noticed that I wanted a little bit more white just there. <laughs> I know. Stop fiddling. Stop fiddling, woman. a little bit more white just there okay and that's introduced a little bit more black as well no. okay walk away I just wanted that little bit of white there oh, I can't get my gloves off hands are all sweaty. All right, let's put them off the other way. All right, now this is a quite a feat to, um, I'll put that one there, it's quite a feat to climb up and get this phone of mine down. Oh, it looks amazing from up here. I'm so happy with it. Oh my gosh. Hang on here. I'm going to try and get down without falling. I've got nothing to hang on to. Oh, okay, I'm down. See, I've got my got my stairs. Climb up my stairs. I'm going to stand on the stool, and then I stand on the table without falling over, so that I can reach that. That's my phone holder way up there. So. One day I'm going to fall down, I'm going to come crashing down and you guys are all going to laugh at me. Now these are, I think, very similar, aren't they? The one on the right is obviously wet, so it will dry darker and the colours will really come into their own. But oh, I'm so happy with it, you guys. I did my blue one earlier today. I did five just on card, the other two are in the bin, <laughs> I did five on card before I was happy enough to do one for you guys for a video and then um, I had a bit of a practice with, with this, my mix was a bit thin at one and a half to one, so I went again at one to one, might be able to get away with it a little bit thicker because see I've got lots of those cells but 
they're interesting, aren't they? Like, it's not as if they look weird or anything. I think it's part of the interest of the whole thing. Now you can see this side was done earlier. And you can see how it's ghosting. That's why I've kind of called it a ghost pour because it looks like where the colours fade into the black there, it kind of looks as if it's like this um, see-through jellyfish or an x-ray or, or something. It's really quite, quite pretty. Ethereal, is that the word? Ethereal. So a lot more of the, the coppery bronzy colours in this half. And then on this half, we've got more of the, the goldy, creamy colours. So I'm happy that I've got both. I think it's actually nicer to have a combination of the two. I mean, they've both got the same colours in them. Something happening down there. It's having trouble focusing again. But over here, the little wisps are starting to, to ghost. So yeah, really happy with that one. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I know it's a long one, half an hour. But that's it. Oh, my back hurts. Focus. Doesn't want to focus. All right, I'm going to leave it at that. It is 6.30 p.m. I need to go and organise some dinner. So it's very similar, isn't it, to that one? Except that one um, has got more of those weird cells from the silicone oil. So, And, of course, it's dry, so it looks darker. But this one, oh, my gosh, it is going to be absolutely incredible when it dries i will show it to you i'll do a little video of it when it's dry okay so again <laughs> thanks for watching so much appreciate all your support and everyone that's donated and made lovely comments really really appreciate everything makes it lovely to come into my studio and do another pour for you all so yeah thanks again all right i'll leave it at that go and get some dinner feed my dogs and um, I will see you for the next poll. All right. Bye for now.